Krista. And my name's Alex. This is The Sense. Today, if you didn't hear that obnoxious cough at the beginning, that was our guest, Miranda. Miranda, say hi. Hi, everybody. It's Krista's sister. Yeah. It's the sister. She has been a longtime listener, the only one that actually gives us feedback. Our so, biggest fan. Our best fan. Biggest, oh. best fan was super excited to be on the show today. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited we have a guest. Yes. This makes it like so good. triple. Yay! Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. You're yeah. welcome. Uh, Alex, how are you? I'm doing good. Yeah. We. <laughs> I had a henna party tonight, and I had a lot more people than I thought I would. I didn't count how many people, but Miranda here got some henna tonight. We got a little forest bear for on her arm. First time. My yeah. first henna tattoo. It's a bear. On my arm. I did it right next to a mole she has on her yep. arm. And I keep trying to like rub <laughs> it off. off the mole. Yeah. <laughs> just so everybody knows, it's not like a gross mole or it's just like a regular <laughs> a beauty it's a mark. Cute mole, yeah. But it looks like a little hand. And they're also known as beauty marks, right, Miranda? Every, everyone's going to think I'm like a disgusting <laughs> human. Like, oh, we got Miranda the garbage <laughs> human out here. I'll post it on. The Instagram page, yes. so everyone can see your cute little mole next to your bear. A beautiful Brandon. bear. Yes. It it's is so adorable. really beautiful. Really what have we decided the name is? Um, well, I think we landed on Mormont. Yeah. In, I like that. In Game of Thrones fashion. Yeah. yeah. Well, Mormont. And yeah. why did we choose a bear? Uh, well, because the brown bear is my spirit animal. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'm we, sorry I'm laughing. Which I don't know <laughs> why that's funny to you, because I take it very seriously. <laughs> wow, just laughing at the spirit animal. Yeah, I, I shouldn't laugh at it. What's I'm your sorry. spirit animal, Krista? Yeah, Krista. It's it's a black It's a poodle. It's a black poodle. <laughs> <laughs> it's an extremely wow. high maintenance dog that thinks it's better than everybody else. That's true. That's so great. That's so, probably why I'm laughing at your bear. Yeah. My spirit animal thinks your spirit animal's stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's not you. nice at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alex, do you have a spirit animal? I feel like we've talked about this before, but I don't remember what it was. I feel like it's a lion. Yeah. It's like something mixed with a lion. Like, I'd be like one of those hybrid animals, oh, like a mythical creature. Interesting. Yeah. Mm, what's a Because I don't creature always lion? have, like, I'm courageous as hell. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. I don't know what I mean. Let me come back to this. Okay. You guys okay. think about it. Maybe All at the end right. of the I podcast, think we'll think of what the rest when, of my spirit animal is. The when remainder. Miranda and I and our brother Ian decided what our spirit animals were, it took a lot of discussing between the three of us. Yes. Actually, Ian wasn't really all that involved. I think we chose oh, for I, him. Oh, you're right. But we did let him know, and he was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, that's accurate. That's Does he? Talk a lot. <laughs> no. Like, I feel like you two are like, <laughs> talk, talk, talk. And he he's talks like, to yep. me. He, like, yeah, like I'm just, sure he talks. If, we talk, if it's yes. just like, he's more of like a one-on-one type of guy. He really is. He seems like a good listener. Oh, absolutely. He is, yeah. But when it's like just me and him, he does 100% of the talking. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. He What's talks up, to me too. Ian, Ian shout out to Ian. What's up, Brosif? Future <clears throat> guest on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. If you want. I want you in for all your sweet sports trivia. Yeah, you could bring him in for a sports topic. Oh, a sports topic, yeah. Oof. It'd be a rough topic. That I have no zero <laughs> knowledge on that. That's, that's <laughs> why you bring him in. Because <laughs> that's true. For yes, all our sports needs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ian. Mm-hmm. Krista, how are you? Doing real good. Uh, also oh. got Space you... Hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Krista also got Hannah tonight. Yeah. And space Hand. Space It'll also hands. be on the Instagram page. Oh, yeah. So, I I love space. I just think it's awesome. I think it's pretty... Oh, it's flaking off right now. Ooh, it feels good. Ooh. I can't Ooh. wait to show everybody the picture. Oh, yeah. It's like a space... Like, she has space all over her hands and fingers... And mm-hmm. then she has like this weird, what was supposed to be a fireball, and it looks like a Pokemon tail. It looks like yeah. a tail. It's kind of, it looks like fuzzy, but I mean, The paste is still on. Maybe it'll look more fireball yeah. once yeah. the paste yeah. is off. But Maybe. for sure it's a tail right now. For sure. And You'll see I don't care. On the I love page. it. It's either it's a space tail or it's a fireball, but whatever it is. Space tail. It's <laughs> great either way. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Very true. It is great either way. Um... So yeah, Krista, you need to tell us about the festival you went to. Oh my god! Thank you for asking. It was amazing. I've been so excited. I've been asking I... many questions because I'm like, I gotta wait for the podcast. <laughs> I gotta wait. No. 
<laughs> um, so I went to Eugene, Oregon, saw a great festival with some artists that I super love. Um, what shout was your out, favorite? Oh, Cascade. Uh-uh. Cascade. Shout out to Cascade if you ever listen to this. Oh my God, Dad. Hi. Hi, Dad. <laughs> So we call him dad. I was like, wait, are you like your actual dad or is no. there like a guy named dad? I mean, hi, actual dad, but also Cascade, <laughs> I call him dad. Like, it's just something all of the fans call him because he's adorable. just such a wholesome figure. He's just such a nice guy. Also, I saw a picture of you in the Care Bear yeah. onesie. Yeah, did you love that? It was so great. It made <laughs> my day. I really liked the onesie because... As soon as it got cold at night, while all of these mostly naked people were around me, I zipped up my onesie, and you you were very cozy. Yeah. Yep. Guess who's warm? Me, Care Bear. I got lots of hugs. Oh, that's adorable. I know. Everyone was. Did you like it, or was it like too much? Oh, it was fine. Okay, good. It was fine because I knew not. I could see that going both ways. Like, you're like, wow, no, no hugs for you anymore. I'm not that nice. (laughs) When you have the Care Bear suit on, you. You are the Care Bear. You're the persona of yeah. the Care Bear. I mean, it was Grumpy Bear, but still. <laughs> <laughs> There's still some love there. Yeah. Grumpy Bear was still likes hugs. Um, so, Cascade, we were at the bar, like, like right up to the, not the bar, like, where you drink, but I guess the, I don't know, what is it the front of the stage called? The rail. Yeah. We were at the rail, and at the end, uh, we were just screaming our heads off, saying, Dad! Dad! And he came down, and he took our friend's my friend's phone, and took a video of us and him. Oh, my God. Did I tell you that? No. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I like have I said, video. I've been waiting to ask oh, about yeah. the stories. <laughs> so he took the phone. He took he took a video of us, and he handed it back to us, and he touched my hand. <laughs> have and... you washed your hands since? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. They're so dirty. I no. barely bathe at all. <laughs> <laughs> Did you touch him with space hand? <laughs> Maybe that's why it's covered in space. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> so perfect. <laughs> and, uh, Wait, oh so why god. do you guys call him dad? Um, well, Cascade is just, he's been around for a long time. Mm-hmm. He's like an older EDM figure. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it usually DJs are like these really young kids and he's just this older guy. He's and he's dad. really sweet. Yeah, he's Aww. really sweet to his fans. He retweeted Lisa a few times and... Adorable. And then, uh, so I didn't have a ticket to the after party. Uh-huh. And one of my favorite artists called Gasly was at the after party. And my friend tweeted at him with my name, can she get into the party? And he said, yes. And he put me on the guest list. That is the coolest thing <laughs> I know. Ever. I'm I so glad I didn't ask about any of these stories till now. I'm like, uh, yeah. I was really happy about that. I didn't have to pay That's for a amazing. ticket. I got on a guest list. Yeah. It was really fun, too. It was wow. the best. My feet were literally bleeding. Oh, yeah. Literally. Yeah. That's not Which, good. It's, I mean... That took a turn. Yeah. It did. I mean, that's, I just want to say, like, that's how much... Like, we had to walk around a lot. I danced the entire time. You wore the wrong uh, shoes. That also is true. What kind true. of shoes did you wear? I what? just wore, like, flat Vans. Ooh. The black ones. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Really terrible shoes. Bad shoes. Yeah. No did to wear. podcast. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. So everyone else, the listeners, if you're going to dance a lot and walk around a lot, get some good footwear. Like, I was in a Care Bear onesie. It doesn't matter what kind of shoes I'm wearing. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, um. Yeah, how did that work? What, wait, what, what did you, what did you wear when you wore the onesie? Did it have feet? It didn't have feet. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah. wait a minute, what? I know. Yeah. No, Is it, it wasn't. technically a onesie if it doesn't have feet? I don't know. I think it zips up. I would call it a onesie I don't know stuff. How a footless work. onesie. Yeah. Yeah. Feetless. Feetless onesie. Feetless. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll go with feetless. <laughs> and what else? I mean, I just had a really fantastic time in, in good old Eugene. So, I love Oregon. Yeah. Oregon's great. I love great. me some Oregon. The weather was perfect. The only bummer that... Oh, but we got around this part. So, um, there's no liquor. There's wine and beer. Yeah. Uh, Weird. Yeah. And uh, so we had these little Go-Gurt cup things, and we pushed out all the go and filled it up with vodka. Wow. And brought it in. Responsible adults. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and then they would, they sold Red Bull, and we were like, can we have Red Bull in like a cup? <laughs> and they, they knew were like, what was happening. They were like, what? And I'm like, yeah, just need a cup. Do you have a cup, please? Don't and judge me. need a cup. And then I realized that I could just drink half the Red Bull yeah. and pour the vodka in, but it took a little bit to figure that out. So, 
Anyway, so I had a fantastic, wholesome, zero... <laughs> zero <laughs> no, perfectly responsible time. It was great. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. I love all the stories. Um, yeah. So we have a guest, like we said, and Miranda, do you want to introduce the topic? <coughs> oh <my> God! <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, uh, Krista chose this one, mm-hmm. I believe. Mm-hmm. That's right. And today we're talking about aliens. <gasps> we're aliens, aliens, everybody. This is such a good topic, but so broad. Like, it's, I was, like, yeah, huge. researching, and then I was, like, I went off on so many different tangents. It's really difficult at all to research these kinds of things. But so great. Like, oh, so yeah. Great. yeah. Super broad. So, I I went a little specific with my research. So, I mean, do you guys want to start? Or should I start? Or? I should like your you initiative here. Yeah. It started like, off you already right right want to bring okay. it up, dude. Dude, take it away. Okay. Man. I have to pull up the notes on my phone. Hold on. Don't read my notes. I'm, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm very self conscious. I just You're like the, the background picture. It's like, oh, that's so it's cute. Scotty. It's Scotty. Yeah, it's yeah. Scotty over and over Chris's again. Chris's dog is on Miranda's phone. <laughs> yeah. Or I guess it's both your dog. I don't know. Who, <laughs> no, it's just her. Who claims he him? He lives with me, but yeah. he's a part of the he's family. He's part of everybody's mm-hmm. he's dog. Together. Okay. All right, guys. So, Aliens um, released in 1986. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you reading? Um, <laughs> Directed by James Cameron. You're a joke right now. <laughs> You're yeah. talking about the movie what? Alien? <laughs> and no, Aliens, the sequel to Alien. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. Um, God. Technical. Starring Sigourney Weaver and Bill Paxton. Oh. Um, yeah, so like I, I hate said, her first name. Just, sorry. <laughs> yeah, real it's, quick. it's real bad. It messes me up every time I say it wrong. Every time I've said it, I'm like, Sigourney? Sigourney? Yeah. So, fun fact. Uh, I have never seen the movie Alien. <laughs> wow, what a fun um, fact. But me it's, uh, it's certified <laughs> fresh, 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, wow, I so, bet it's really good. Yeah, so, I mean, you listeners should definitely check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Let me give you a little quote here from the Aliens Rotten Tomatoes uh, little website here. <laughs> God, you're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> While Alien was a marvel of slow building atmospheric tension, Aliens packs a much more visceral punch and features a typically strong performance from Sigourney Weaver. So, um, I also, oh, nope, I don't have them. I thought I had some critic. I have a question. Well, yeah. Why'd you pick aliens and not like the original alien? Like, because, because I was topic... told that the topic was aliens. Oh, with an S. okay, wow. <laughs> Getting real um, literal here. The most literal you can wow. possibly be. I, I, Down I, um, to the S. <laughs> Got it. I do, I do have some real thoughts, but um, I would like that was to hear you guys talk about it okay. first. Krista, take it away. Thanks for trolling me super hard. Earlier, so hard. we were sitting in your room and you were like, hey, are you doing your research? I was like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what? I just took some screenshots. I pictured like this in depth, because you like even wanted to start. Yeah. I was like, wow, girl, tell it. You have it on, man. I was like, wow, uh, this make, this puts my little notes to I, shame. I, d- mm-hmm. I swear I have some legitimate thoughts for the end. Yeah. I'm sure you do. <laughs> that was great. Oh, Jesus. I shouldn't have expected any less. All right, thanks everybody. See you later. I'm out. Uh, uh, say it. <laughs> Play my outro music, please. <laughs> I don't have music for you. <laughs> No music for you. Oh, my God. Okay, well, so, Aliens, the not movie, (laughs) the scary thing that exists in space that will come and abduct you, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, it got real dark up in here. Well, she may be mad, so. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Taking it on the podcast. (laughs) Well, okay, okay, I should start over. It didn't make me mad, Miranda. Thank you for that. You're welcome. It was awesome. Um... So I chose Aliens because I was recently listening to, I think it was on the Cracked podcast, they briefly mentioned that one of a um, theory of a reason why people have alien abduction uh, fantasies is that it's a re, like, it's your memory bringing up, like, birth, sort of. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like very sterile. There's weird, large-eyed creatures. You're going into a whole new world. Yeah, you're in a literal, like a new world. Everything's white and bright and terrifying. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's very similar to being born. So maybe it's kind of like a mental everyone's thinking of being born. Yeah, everyone's kind of thinking. I see that. Yeah, 
And when you're born, when you're a newborn infant, your vision isn't fully developed. Yeah. Ooh. So, you know, there's some blurriness going on and your brain's just trying to interpret mm-hmm. what it's seeing. What is happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 So I just thought that was interesting. That that kind of spurred off this whole research for me is uh, some scientific reasons why people have alien abduction fantasies. And one of them is the personality traits. There's some specific personality traits that people have that are common among those who claim to be abducted by aliens. One of them is uh, the proclivity for fantasy. So proclivity for fantasy means that you... <laughs> kind of either will fill in the gaps of memories with some amazing instance that probably didn't happen or you just are drawn to a fantastical element of life that also isn't real. So the same people that claim to be abducted by aliens also will claim to have seen ghosts or, you know, the various fantastical things just making up stuff yeah. all over left and right. Yeah. I'm not saying that every single person that has reported an alien encounter just happens is a to crazy be person. A lot of the same people. Yeah. It's kind of just, you know, it's common amongst those people. Uh let's see here. I did research. <laughs> <laughs> not easy to read some of this kind of stuff because it's about temporal lobe sensitivity and um, so temporal lobe sensitivity is where your brain is more vulnerable to influence from influence of low level magnetic fields so that can explain paranormal experiences such as an alien alien abduction and yeah I'm basically saying... What happens uh, with magnetic fields? Sorry, I didn't understand that part. So, I'll just read you what I pasted. And this is from The Independent, the website. Temporal lobe sensitivity is a theory that suggests that temporal lobes of some people's brains are more more vulnerable to influence from low-level magnetic frequencies. A neurologist at... Why do you say that? Ooh, I don't know. It's a university in Canada. Okay. Laurentian? Or Laurentian? Yeah. Something like that. It's among those... They, he's among those that believe that increased temporal lobe activity can explain paranormal experiences such as alien abductions. His theory is that magnetic fields stimulate the temporal lobes, resulting in a hallucinatory experience similar to those reported by alien abductions. None of this is to say that many people who believe they have experienced alien abductions are liars. Merely that their accounts or experiences can be explained through recourse and theories with a scientific basis. So that brings me to where I stand on it. And I kind of don't really want to go into that yet until Alex has a chance to say something about her understanding what alien abductions might be. Or encounters. Okay. Or whatever you want to say. I don't have a lot, guys. I'm sorry. My research was real, real bad this week. <laughs> just a little maybe step up from the dragon episode, but <laughs> I, I love the topic of aliens. It makes me think, I don't know, I get freaked out talking about aliens, but at the same time so intrigued. I My biggest, mm-hmm. well, a lot of this is just what is in my mind. Yeah. It's not really And that's research. where a lot of us is going to be anyways. I think we're just going to have a, like, a good It's so fun to talk about aliens. theories. Yes. hmm mm-hmm. So, something that scares me about the thought of aliens is, like, our universe is so big. There's got to be something more than just Earth and here on this planet. hmm So, I, my worry is aliens are going to come upon Earth. They're going to be, like, they're going to think of us like ants. And they're going to be like, Psh, out of the way, and like flick Earth off, <gasps> off the universe. Oh. I know it sounds kind of maybe weird, but no, that's no. always my fear. Like, especially when I see ants, and I'm just like, get out of your ants. And I like sweep them off my sidewalk, and I'm like, oh, what if aliens come and they do that to me? And I just feel so bad for ants, and then <laughs> it's like this horrible cycle. <sighs> Anyways. So, I was listening to some coast-to-coast radio, or I was listening to on YouTube, they have so many different podcasts about aliens. They have all about paranormal, but I was listening to a few of the alien ones. 
and there's just so much content and I didn't know where to start so that's why my research is so lack it's of it's minimal we kind of did minimal stuff anyways because a lot of our it's gonna be fun to talk about yeah but another thing that made me think about when you brought the talk topic of aliens is the movie signs my favorite alien movie she's talking about a movie too yeah well she didn't well i didn't start the podcast off with (laughs) aliens yeah (laughs) literal not even talking about the first one the sequel (laughs) oh anyways but i liked it good job miranda signs freaked me out so we live in eastern washington the tri-cities aka and a word. Mm-hmm. And in the trailer for Signs, it's like showing all these crop circles from around the world. And the last one they end with before they show the rest of the pr- the trailer is Kennewick, Washington. Dun, dun, and dun. I was like, oh, I'm 12 years old when this movie comes out and I'm dying. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> and my uncle scared me forever about aliens. And he's like, see, hold you. And I'm like, oh, man. And my uncle took me to the movie theater to watch Signs. And I remember being 12 years old in the movie theater with a baseball cap. And I'm like, yeah, I'm so tough. I can watch this scary movie about aliens. And I'm sitting there and whew, I had to like duck my head so my baseball cap would cover my eyes. And I'm like, I'm not scared. Oh, the movie's so scary, you guys. But I've watched it since now that I'm older. And it's kind of cheesy. Not, I don't know. But I did look up that crop circle it was really a crop circle in kennewick washington may 29th 1993 very cool and it was 60 feet in diameter it was a circle the farmer described it as i forgot how he described it exactly but like something with a beak on a pedestal and i was like wow (laughs) i'll have to post the picture to the instagram because i was like that's definitely not what i saw it just looks like a circle with lines coming out of it but his description of a creature with a beak on a pedestal. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Mm. Like, Weird interpretation, okay. Farmer. Is that what you were trying to make? Like, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That was his vision and he just didn't execute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, there's so many um, UFO sightings. And a lot of them come from mostly the United States in the Pacific Northwest. Where? Holla. Yeah. We're here. Number one state is California. And Washington's number five. I didn't pay attention to the ones in the middle. <laughs> I was like, whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So Washington's pretty big. A lot of freaks here. Lots of aliens here. <laughs> Another thing I read on this website, um, they were like, the one of the first UFO sightings was in Portland, Oregon. And the guy was like, of course. Yeah. Hipsters, they're, they're, they're the first to do everything. Um, aliens, I saw them a long time <laughs> yeah. ago. Yeah. Over it. (laughs) And so then I was like reading into like UFO sightings and I kind of got into Roswell a little bit. And then I was like, oh, this is like a topic all on its own, like that we need to have, like Mm -hmm. talking about Mm -hmm. Roswell. So I didn't even get into that, guys. But just so you know, if you see a UFO, the website, the National UFO Reporting Center, nuforc.org is where you report it. And they, they have so many reportings of ufos and i love that that's really valuable information now you know where to go yeah nuforc.org report your ufo sightings is it new fork new fork (laughs) 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 can you report any like is a ufo sighting just i mean technically anything i see yeah so they 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 have different levels so they're there's space like saucers if you see a saucer, you mark saucer. If you see bright lights, you mark that. If you, I think I actually had alien sighting, but there was like but none of those. I wonder if they're cross-referencing this, like these uh, encounters or whatever, like or these sightings with actual things that are in the sky. Oh, that's what I was like, like, like what if you're seeing a satellite. Exactly, yeah. because yeah. I can look up in the sky and anything that moves. That's a fucking alien. Unless something... <laughs> it's an un- un- unidentified flying object. Yeah, an unidentified flying object is, to me, pretty much everything. Mm-hmm. But because I cannot identify it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do not know what that satellite yep. is. Is that a UFO? I mean, <laughs> yeah. is that an alien? Is it an alien? Satellite? Or is it just a missile test? Is it a bird? No. <laughs> <laughs> you just look up, there's a bird, you're like, <laughs> UFO! <laughs> <laughs> an unidentified flying object. Um... 
Yeah, so it's interesting to look through that list. I just clicked on Washington's results, and I was, like, looking for the Tri-Cities because I wanted to be all freaked out. <laughs> and most of them were, like, Seattle, like, west, more west of the state. But there was one in Pasco, and it was, like, a boring one. And I was <laughs> like, oh, that's it? You saw a bright light in this guy? Dumb, dumb. Um, <laughs> but you can, like, post your videos or pictures on there also. There was a few of those. There was somebody in Sunnyside that posted a video in it. I don't know. It wasn't that interesting, but Weird. if you need to post yeah. about your yeah. sightings, uh, yeah. I like it. I like it. That's what I, I like got. U fork. What is it? New fork. New fork. N u f o r c dot org. <laughs> Report your sightings. <laughs> I I just am shocked. Like I'm not shocked, but like. It blows my mind that UFO sightings are so prevalent that there's a site dedicated to just reporting sightings. Most of them are United States and Australia. Okay. Just a bunch of hysterical white people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so where are other cultures UFO sightings, I wonder? Do you still report them? Or they're just like, whatever, it's a bright light. Like, yeah. Get over it, people. Go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> and that kind of brings me to, like, what I think. So, I just want to say something. I don't think aliens have ever been here. I think they exist. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they've ever been in or around Earth, ever. <gasps> I do. I do think that. I'm, I'm sorry, Alex. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us why. Because... Okay, so I think the likelihood of life on another planet, like, I, I think it's likely. Like, yes. the, like, just with how massive the universe is and how many planets that could support life. There's, there's a really good podcast about this, and I hopefully will find it another day, but it's like, um, there's a whole mathematical equation about the possibility of life on other planets. And it is possible, um, but then you have to factor in all these other things. Are they able to create crafts that can travel the universe are they able to comprehend that at all like i mean you know their intelligence yeah the, what, how i always think of aliens is that they're superior and like yeah what if there is life on other planets but they're like cavemen status like yeah <laughs> or even yeah. below that what if it's just like bacteria Ooh, yeah. yeah yeah i mean i think it's likely that there are bacterial life forms within our solar system but intelligent life forms so far away like i mean when we see a star it's like thousands of maybe even millions of years ago is the light that it's the light that we see it's that true. star isn't there anymore that star is not the same place and it might not even exist at all the universe is too big <laughs> for them to come here it's too big for them not to exist but it's also too big for them to visit us it makes me kind of sad. Like, I, I feel yeah. so alone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, there's a question um, that's like, are we alone in the universe? Both answers are sad. Or both answers are kind of depressing. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, like, I don't want to be a downer. Like, I love the idea of it. I literally have a space hand right now. Like, that's <laughs> true. I love space. I just thinking about it and, like, but how realistically. massive and how beautiful nature is. Like, out there, in the sky, that's nature. Like, that's natural phenomenons happening. I don't want to dilute it with fantastical accounts of aliens coming to visit the Earth because I think nature and space is already so amazing. You don't need that. And also, I don't think it's real. I think it's more likely that people are creating their own stories in their heads and sharing with each other. And we are just kind of all pretending to have encounters. That's Krista. Miranda. Sorry. My name is Miranda. <laughs> Hi, I'm Miranda. <laughs> um, Take it away. Yeah. I am of almost in exactly the same opinion. Yeah, girl. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I certainly think it's possible and even likely that there's other life forms out there on other planets and within the universe. Um. I don't think it's likely that they would be advanced enough to travel to our planet. And I certainly think that if they were advanced enough to travel to our planet and be here and see us, they would have no need to abduct one of us. Like, you think they can create the technology to get here 
and not have a better way to like step. I'm gonna take one at a time. Like yeah. you, like that. come over here. <laughs> it, yeah. yeah. So I mean, if there is a, some super advanced life form out there capable of getting here, and you know, and for some reason wanting to understand the human race or Earth or whatever it is. They don't need to take you up into their spaceship, dude. Trust me. Like, th- if they can <laughs> make that me. spaceship, they got enough to just, you know... Observe us. Observe us from way the hell up there. And, I mean, maybe even if they have that kind of technology, they don't. They probably don't even need to physically be here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it, probably safer for them to not be exactly. here. Exactly. Yeah. So why would they want to come here at all? I mean, there's so there's the technology thing and the fact that I don't think there's a life form out there advanced enough to create this technology. But if they could, there's the issue of, well, if they can create that, then they can create something to, you know, not necessitate them to actually abduct a human. But then there's also, like, the motive. Like, why would they want to do this? Yeah. Like, maybe they want to just study us and understand, but... If they're that advanced, they don't need to actually. So there's a, yeah. there's another thing I have I, to add uh, before you add. I just I <laughs> <laughs> no 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 I just Shut down. I just like to credit my sources. So most of oh, those theories girl. come actually come from Rhett McLaughlin of um, Rhett and Link. Yes, of, uh, Good Mythical Morning fame. Dude, so, do you, have you seen Rhett. Good Mythical Morning? No, what is this? It's, it's a, a really YouTube good YouTube show. show. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited. I'm yeah, gonna look this up. Oh, they yeah. have a really great podcast that you should check out. It's called Ear Biscuits. Ooh, that's adorable. adorable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rhett and Link are amazing. Ear Biscuits. Yeah. Look I that up. I should probably listen to that because I love their YouTube channels. So. Yeah. It's pretty Ear good. Ear Biscuits. Yeah. Um, so there's a correlation between intelligence and empathy. And the more intelligent you are, the more empathetic you are. If something is so massively intelligent that they have the capability of coming to our planet, they're highly also highly also very empathetic and will have no need to hurt us. Oh my god, it makes me yeah. feel so much better. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, you really, it that really, really just credits the ant you, theory. Um, yeah, yeah you, like, you, think about can... yourself. The way you treated those ants, you literally felt bad about it. So yeah. you can oh. also credit aliens I'm just like so good tonight, <laughs> we, you guys. Like, wow. <laughs> like, we can, there can be other life forms in this universe, and they don't necessarily want to kill us all, everybody. Like, it, it's going to be yeah. okay if they do exist. Yeah. So I mean, we exist here, and we haven't we're, gotten... We're not terrible. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, a bad terrible. example. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Other planets. Other planets are okay, though. Like, yeah, we're not yeah. out to kill we all the other life forms. We don't want to enslave no. Mars. Like, we don't... Yeah, Mars to... is cool. <laughs> yeah. So, I think that should every, that should lead everyone to rest easy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, does that help you, Alex? A lot. Okay. <laughs> like, that was my biggest worry about looking up aliens. I was like, oh, I'm going to get back down this tangent where, like, they're going to come and kill us all. Like, oh, Ooh. boy. Alex is going to be wearing an aluminum foil hat <laughs> next time we see her. You it's guys maybe shouldn't go in my bedroom because my alum- <laughs> aluminum foil suit is in there. <laughs> I wear it every night. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Your whole> suit. <laughs> yeah. So. My armor of foil. <laughs> What did so that, you, can, can you tell us about what you were researching and now you were looking up the thing and what it said on your, on your phone? Oh yeah. So I was like, I had a bunch of windows open on my phone on Safari and I like, oh, of course my phone's going to be like, no, no, don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Safari. And it, I opened up, you opened so you can see all the windows and it says five Santa sightings from the travel channel fans. And I'm like, what the? What was I looking up? And I clicked on it, five famous UFO sightings. And I was like, what? But the top of it, like the title of the page. The page says, says Santa. It's a conspiracy, I was guys. like, they're trying to cover it up. I'm wondering if this is like a joke article. Like, Is it, it says- a joke or are they covering it? <laughs> All signs lead to FBI. <laughs> or whoever looks that up. I don't know. <laughs> they come knocking on the door right now. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's just yeah. so weird. Why? Why does they say this? It's probably a joke, but yeah, it might be. Is it? Is <laughs> it really? It's really, really hard for me to find alien shit. That oh god, stop yeah, it. you're not sorry, doing well. guys. I'm really sorry. I apologize. Beep. About cursing. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll fa- maybe I can do that. Can absolutely. Mom, earmuffs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so it's really hard for me to find stuff online that's like legitimate alien stuff there was this really good documentary i saw as a kid and i want to say it was on the discovery channel and maybe i can look it up to figure out what it was called but 
It was basically um, these artists and scientists coming up with life forms that could exist on other planets. Have you guys seen that? <coughs> Stop it! Wow. <laughs> yeah. We're really going all out with that clear in the throat, aren't we, Miranda? That was very exaggerated. <laughs> really makes up for my clicking the pen (laughs) (laughs) but like okay so there's like this gaseous floating sentient creature that could hypothetically exist on a planet so i'm not sure where are you thinking of rick and morty no, I'm not. I'm thinking oh. of a Pick documentary a I saw as a kid. <laughs> I think you're thinking of Rick and Morty. No, right I promise now. I'm not. Pick there's away. this. There's like a. It's just like it was this thing between artists and scientists. They would scientists would be like, "Okay, there might be a thing that is an animal, but it uses this mechanism of flight or something, or it's like it uses maybe carbon as its base. Maybe it's another." element and artists would come up with it and make like a cool video and it was really entertaining yes that's interesting yeah you were a kid too i was also a kid and i grew up in the same house as you and i don't know what you're talking about so (laughs) this is why i'm pretty sure you're thinking of rick and morty i promise i'm not (laughs) i'll find it i'll show you i have i don't have anything to add on that because i have no idea what this is about (laughs) but another thing about crop circles Mm -hmm. is they can be man-made, or yeah. it's magnetic field. I need to look into this more, but I thought it was interesting because they showed different pictures of wheat that had was man-made, mm-hmm. what they think are alien-made, mm-hmm. and then also what magnetic fields like. It shows like the little wheat is like exploded. Yeah, oh. yeah, and I've it reminded like me that. of it when you were talking about the magnetic. You were talking about something the about The temporal lobe being yeah. sensitive Yeah, and I was like, magnets, yeah. what if it's all magnets? Yeah. <laughs> magnet. What is that? And now we're oh, going into magnets, show. guys. No, magnets, <laughs> dude. How do they work? Uh, what is that? Dude, Insane Clown Posse. Yeah, yeah, there's an ICP song. Oh. It's oh, about magnets. Miracles. Miracles, miracles oh, everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> I don't know how the song goes. It <laughs> Just go YouTube yeah, it. Yeah, it's Miracles, ICP. It's really good, actually. <laughs> Really Apparently, magnets are miraculous. If you're a member of the Insane Clown Posse, you don't understand how <laughs> magnets work. And they really don't appreciate scientists explaining they, to them stuff because really, it's just magic. It's just miracles. Oh, boy. <laughs> I see miracles every Everywhere. day. We're going to get taken down. <laughs> we, don't do it. It's too accurate to the source material. We're going to get flagged. <laughs> oh my God. Not today, ICP. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Well, um, one thing I kind of had to add on your, um, like, alien abduction recollections are just memories of you being born thing is, I don't remember where I read this or where I learned this, but the fact that the memories that you revisit most often, um, your brain tends to try to fill in the gaps that you're slowly forgetting. Yeah. And so it actually changes the way you remember it every time you remember it. Mm-hmm. So that would kind of... It mm-hmm. makes sense of how, like, some things in those abduction stories don't really connect to the actual scene of you being born, but it could be just the fact that you've remembered it so many times and your brain has worked to, f- like, put extra stuff in there. A lot of memory is stuff made up. That you yeah. Made Where up. I thought you were going this, Miranda, you're like, I don't remember. I thought you were going to say, being born. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, I... me, me neither. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good, good point in case. Oh my yeah, God. yeah. <laughs> That's really hard to remember at all. But like, yeah, try it, guys, at home. Try to remember being. I've born. made a lot Can of it you? up in my head, but I think it went a little like this. I, yeah, I, yeah. I think I can think of like what it might have looked like. Right. Yeah. You were probably there somewhere. I had a baby, and I don't even remember no, that. But, no, but I was there when you yeah, were born. You were. Yeah, you were. You were. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. adorable. Yeah, I was no, waiting. No, because she made me cry. I did. <laughs> I touched her head and she started crying and I felt really bad. And that was the start of our relationship. How old were you when um, she was born? Five, I think it was five. Four. Yeah, four. Oh, that's I think the it's... sweetest thing ever. Oh, yeah. No, I was five. You should tell the story about you getting caught in that hug. <gasps> oh, okay. So <laughs> it's just family memories now, everybody. Um, I, remember, <laughs> I remember the day mom learned that Miranda was being 
in her. She, she, <laughs> oh my uh, god! Can you start so over? So sorry. Gross. I'm sorry. Please start. You I made her sound like an alien. Tell you, no, no, no. It's because perfect transition. I was thinking. I was trying to recall the memory as like as you were I was saying trying the words. to say the thing. Okay, so, let's start. Okay, over. so I remember. <laughs> The day mom found out that she was pregnant with Miranda. That's better. So dad, I I want to say mom was on the phone and she was like, honey, come here. And then they like, they talked on the phone and they hung up and, and then they were like, come here, Krista. And I, they hugged me and they, dad and hug, dad hugged mom and I was in the middle and I was like, just being small and looking up like what's <laughs> going on and mom was just crying hysterically and i was like why was she what's crying happening? well i think it's important to note that i was not a planned pregnancy <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah rand is the youngest and i we have a brother between us and ian was expected i was expected and i Miranda was a surprise, was, surprise. Did the right baby. Yeah. <laughs> and that's good because we all love her and want her here. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded sarcastic. That's all the crying <laughs> happened when you were conceived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, she, so she was crying. And I also remember telling a neighbor that my mom was pregnant and that neighbor being like, no, she's not. And making me feel very dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what? Whatever, neighbor. Yeah. And I was like, she is. My mom is having a baby. And they're like, no, you dumb kid. She's not. <laughs> like... I remember this happening. This is interesting. This is a new development for me. So, but what we also remember about memories is that sometimes we might fill in the gaps with things that didn't happen. I think what I I did not forget (laughs) when um, when my parents are having my little brother. (laughs) (laughs) They wanted to have a home birth. And Ooh. they were like, okay, we need to have a family meeting and watch this home birth video. And oh, no. little seven-year-old Alex had to watch hippie ladies having home births. Ew. And then they showed full-on downstairs action. Oh, and no I was way. like, I have no idea what's happening. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of baby. <laughs> there's a lot screaming. of a lot of parts. I, oh, boy. I can't believe I have a baby after watching this. Like, yeah, it was... Horrific. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. Natural we... home birth. I'm glad I had a natural home birth. It's great. But very, who would not record it. <laughs> <laughs> and seven year old Alex watched this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh. Uh, sometimes, <laughs> okay, not. like give birth however you want, but like don't show your kids the way that it happens. I like, like what this podcast has dissolved. Happens. It's yeah. fine. It's <laughs> like, nice. Um, we've stayed on topic for the last ones pretty well, but like this is a special episode. We have a guest. We can do whatever we so, want yeah. today. Yeah. Exactly. So we always Take do whatever we want. That's right. Mm-hmm. I this have... is our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. What, okay, so I love talking about birth and aliens, but okay. I also want to ask Miranda, what do you think of the podcast so far? <gasps> oh, I'm really enjoying it. Um, really? Yeah, so I, I look forward to it every Monday for the last, Aww. you know three weeks oh yeah no it's really great nice. um i like to listen to it while i work out Ooh, uh, nice yeah exciting so okay. that's really great um it's just it's kind of fun just knowing you guys and listening to <laughs> it you know uh i don't know because i feel like i can like shoot you an email you feel like you're just here about it with yeah. us yeah i do <laughs> um no it's super awesome are you going to listen to this episode while I, you work out? I am. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I, w- I will. I think it's really odd because everyone is like, I hate the sound of my voice. I'm over that com- almost completely. This like, has actually made me like it. my voice better. Yeah. yeah. Like, I hate hearing it Like when I watch a video of myself. I'm like, yeah. oh, who's that ogre? Oh, my- it's me talking. <laughs> <laughs> but this, it hasn't sounded bad yet. Like, hopefully I don't listen to this one. I'm like, oh, there's Troll Alex. She's back. (laughs) Troll Alex. No, you're not a troll at all. Um, I had a couple of things that I wanted to mention. Yes, please. Yes. Um, So I remember when you, Krista, were first telling me that you were going to, like, kind of start doing this and you were giving me, like, the basic rundown of what you guys wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I, that first episode, I was really craving, like, a breakdown of that, like, like a mission statement, almost. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like that what? Been. What's the point? Why is it you two why getting together? This? Yeah. Like why? Yeah. Okay, so I had a vision. I don't know where Alex lies on this vision, or we 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 brought it up together. Like we thought of it together, 
at least something that was different as far as I remember the, the exact moment. Oh, that this boy. this little podcast was kind of it was conceived. conceived. <laughs> yes, um, in theme with it was this episode. The two I don't, know, I don't remember what year it was. Not this year's wine run, but last year's wine <gasps> run. Oh yeah. We did this little fun run, and you drank wine and tried to run three miles. It was, it was very, a little rough. Very Ooh. difficult for me. But I'm not athletic. Wine was good. <laughs> but I remember we were walking because, like, everybody else was, and we were like, let's drink wine instead. And we were, like, talking. We are like, man, we should make a podcast. That'd be so awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then ever since then, I'm like, when are we going to do this podcast thing? And like, yeah. we've hung out several times and we've talked about it, but now we're doing it. We're finally doing it. Look at us. And so I remember like when we were like, okay, we can, we can do this. Like, let's, let's think it out. Like, what are we going to do? My idea was to do sort of like a spiritual versus skeptical idea with no arguing. No arguing allowed. I hate arguing. I hate it too. Confrontation, <laughs> I shut right down. It's, yeah, like, I just don't want to fight. I don't want to. I but love I discussing. But I love talking to Krista. We yeah. always, like, rift off each other, like, think, oh, yeah, that's right, and then go mm-hmm. back and forth on ideas. Yeah, and it's never, like, hostile. We have very different ideas, but I'm never, like... It's so very you mind-opening every time I hang out with Krista. Yes. And also for me, too. Because Alex is like, hey, let's do an oracle <laughs> reading. And I'm like, that's dumb. And then I do it. And I'm like, oh, that was nice. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah. So that's always good. So that was my vision. And as far as a mission statement goes, um, I could probably come up with something. Yeah. Just you like a did. one sentence. Like every time you introduce, this is the sense cast where we... Da, 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 da. This is <laughs> what exactly. you have them, Krista. It was like making the sense of, of things that just don't make sense. Yeah, or, or that don't make like, sense to us. Yeah, it was. It sounded Talking a lot better about the first things time. Things that <laughs> make <laughs> sense to us, but not. Yeah, we'll work on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, listener, ask all me. listener, ask me. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, hey, um, <laughs> if you have any ideas of what our mission <laughs> yes statement should be, you let us know. Yeah. What's the email, Krista? The sense cast? <laughs> question mark? No, no. That's no why I asked mark. you because I was really unsure. I was I, like, yeah. I always want to say the sense podcast dot. Uh, no. Yeah. Dot. dot. Because it's no. No. no That's why I asked sense podcast.com and hit the email button in the top right corner. No. Oh, dang. Uh, girl. That's Get not it. it. <laughs> we don't have a website. Oh. Um, Boom. Okay, okay. I was only saying very, like, tentatively because it is the Sense Cast, but the Sense Podcast, that's not our email. Don't email the Sense Podcast. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't mean to confuse everybody. Sorry. I know. It's I just, okay. I get confused. I know. It's fine. It's fine. So, right mm-hmm. now, say it. How's it It is the Sense Cast at gmail.com. T H E S E N S E. Right? You got it? Yep. You yep. got it. Yep. Woo hoo. C A S T at gmail.com. <laughs> Okay. We'll get it. And you look at our Instagram. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's the Instagram called for the henna? The henna. Oh, oh, we have so oh, much yeah. stuff that's going to be on the Instagram. Yeah. This. Yes. It's called The Sense Cast. And there's a picture of me and Krista as our little profile oh, picture. That was the day we thought of the <gasps> podcast. Oh, yeah. That's adorable. I, did, I just was like, oh, I remember we have a good picture. And I like yeah, scrolled yeah, through yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> that was the wine run day. That was the wine was run day. That's and cute. you were an alien. No, oh, wait. I was a cat. Okay. <laughs> cat. I mean, also alien. It was because your little buns like ended up being. I did weird. have buns that were supposed to be cat ears slash antennas, so it, <laughs> I was kind of like an alien cat. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, this is like Adorable. take me back flashback podcast. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I remember running that day because my hands got very Mickey swollen. Mouse hands. Oh, it was Ooh. awful. Yeah. Was it wine. Okay, no, fun fact is I'm a terrible runner. When you are doing runs, you need to every once in a while put your hands up in the air above your head so the blood flow goes down because if you're running and you keep your hands below your head, the blood's going to flow and just make your hands swell. That and you get Mickey Mouse hands. Yep. Mickey yep. Mouse. Hands. It was That's it was terrifying. A medical term everybody. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Alex <laughs> is not a doctor. <laughs> medical advice. I'll tell you some stuff. It might not be true. It might, might be. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. 
fine. Doesn't Mickey Mouse way. hands. Yeah. Wonderful. Look it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did really like your Oracle card reading in the yeah. last one. It was so good. That was nice. That was nice. Yes. <clears throat> it was so positive. Yeah. yeah. Which we learned from tarot cards. You always got to keep a positive mindset. Yeah. 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 I like that. I like how they all like had a central water theme. Like I thought that was actually really interesting. Yeah. Even rainbow. Even rainbow has a mm-hmm. water element to it. Because it is water that, that made the rainbow. Exactly. That is science. Steady in the air. And we're both Pisces. Uh, yeah. Holy wow. wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pisces Dang. unite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Virgo. I, wow, way to ruin the... I'm sorry, I can no, no, read. No. <laughs> this is what you have to say. No, no, you have oh, to be like... God. No, no, no. I don't live in astrology because I'm a skeptical... Just... I'm a skeptical person like a Virgo is. <laughs> I'm a Virgo. Get I out of your little working. finger. No, I'm skeptical. <laughs> I saw a tweet from... It's Anthony Padilla, formerly of yes, Smosh. Yep. Um, he said... Uh, I know you don't believe in horoscopes, but what if I told you that your sign is the least likely to believe in horoscopes? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I thought that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. One. yeah. Oh, that's what else, guys? Someday we'll have a podcast about that. I don't know. What's the outline say we're supposed to do now? Are we did the what do we think? Well, Alex, yeah. you know, I, I feel like sometimes I commandeer this conversation and I always like talk a lot. So I think you should tell us what you think. What do I think about aliens? Yeah, what do you think about aliens? Let me tell you what I think about aliens. Okay, you let us know, girl. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we, I, you guys have made me feel so much better about aliens because I'll, I love the topic, but I always get scared that they're going to come to earth and be like, peace out guys, or like kick us off the planet and be like, we're the little ants. But I know now the more intelligent you get, the more compact and empathetic. And, um, empathy. Yeah. You got word. it. You got <laughs> it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> so that makes me feel better. I'm going to sleep so good tonight. Mm-hmm. And it's a big topic. Do you think they're real? It really is. Oh, yeah. For yeah. sure. Like, you guys are like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, yeah. wow, I'm going to slink over in the corner. No, no, no. Like, it's okay. Like, Come on. You go take ahead. me. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I like I am a huge fan of the band Tool, and they have a lot of um, like alien sort of themed mm-hmm. art and music, and I really like it. Like, it's really entertaining, and it's I don't know. It's like I'm, I'm maybe he believes in aliens. You know, I wouldn't disrespect anybody that believes in aliens or that they have visited the Earth or that they've even abducted people. I just don't believe it's true. But, like, regardless, I love conspiracy you theories. Yeah. And I think the universe is too huge to not have something more out there. Mm-hmm. It might just be little tiny bacteria on another planet, but I think, I do think that there's more intelligent life forms out there. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe. <laughs> That's cool. Anything else? Mmm. Probably, but I don't know. I can't think of anything yeah. off the top of my head. Oh, okay. Dang it. No, it's fine. You don't have to think of something. Maybe right? the next podcast will be like, guys, I got yes. a half hour I want to think now. <laughs> <laughs> All those times where I said I didn't have anything to say, I do now. I came up with stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, why don't you, listener, tell us what you think about aliens? Are they real? Did we shoot down your ideas? I'm sorry if I did. Did I'm you learn sorry. anything? Did you learn anything? Did you not learn anything? If you see a UFO again, yeah, New Fork, N U F O R C dot org, report your sightings. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a, I, like, gaining information and recording things is always important, so do it. Then I'm, you can compare it. Yeah. Compare it. Very true. Keep an alien journal. Tell me yeah. what you thought about the movie Aliens. <laughs> That she's never seen. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe based on your opinion, I'll watch it. Whatever. <laughs> you won't. I won't. <laughs> okay. But you could give me your review, and then I'll just spew that to other humans if they ever ask me what I thought about the movie Aliens. There you go. So, yeah. Aliens. Tell us about it. Yeah. Um, well, guys, this part is now time for weekly goals. Oh, We didn't yeah. talk about it at the beginning of the episode, but... 
I, I always, we need to write down our goals because I forget I every time. I, yeah. Yours I mean, was to tell us about your festival. Yeah. Which, done. Good job. Okay. Check. Yep. Did it. Did it. I've did been it. working on my henna. Still haven't done my friend's chess piece. But I did do a lot of henna tonight. And you, you'll see yeah. on the Instagram page, you'll see Miranda's bear. You'll yeah. see Krista's space hand. Space hand. And I won't show you all of them. You'll get to just see those too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... But, like, you had so much practice. And yeah. every single one she did, guys, was beautiful. Oh, Every thanks. single one. There was, like, I'm surprised. How many, how long were you there? You were just sitting We got the there couch. at 7, and we left at almost 11. Yeah. So, yeah, many hours. What is yeah. that? Four? And she was, like, nonstop. Like, everyone was just. They gave me just, no breaks, yeah. which was fine, but it yeah. was just crazy. It's yeah. like, dang. Yeah. Person another, another, person. another. Yeah. 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 Uh, you can follow me at Alex Hennera on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> See all your cool Hannah stuff. Shameless plug. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, what's um, your weekly goal this week, Krista? Um. Well, just get up earlier. Take my dog out. It's always the. It really cool. is always my goal. But it's, it's a good goal. A struggle. Yeah, but. Like, I've been doing really good, like, getting up at, like, 8.30 and 8. That's pretty good. And yeah. Yeah. I got up at 9.20 this morning. And I stayed up really late last night. I was like, is that good? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, at eight. I just think consistency is good as a yeah. person. Like, you should have that. Get up and go to bed at the same time every day. Um, yes. Keeps, yeah. And eat better. Always. Always good. Always. I'm I'm making more lunches and meals for myself rather than eating at work. And because I work in a store which has food available all the time, but it is not healthy food. And um, I think that's it. I think it's those are good goals. goals. It's just really basic stuff. Yeah. That's all I got. Day to day stuff, but good. In, yeah. Work on this podcast. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, My weekly sweet. goals. Yes. I still need to work on the cover art for this podcast. Yeah. Every time I start, I run into a mental wall and I, it's not what I'm envisioning. I mean, I'm picturing like a space theme, maybe not Chris's space hand, but it could just be space hand. I space no. hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, not space hand. No, but it's, it's not. It's close. Yeah. It's getting there. Because we have to do something that's like between the both of us. So you know what's special to me. You know what's special. <laughs> Stop, Stop it. Miranda <laughs> and her clearing of the throat. <laughs> you know what's special to you. So like, just it'll come. Blend it'll come to it. me. But it's not. Yeah. It's not ready yet. No. Yeah. It's gonna be glorious though. I glorious. can't wait to hear these throat clearings. You, I'm gonna. I hope it hurts your ears when no. you're working out. <laughs> <laughs> my goal, my goals for this week. I'm gonna work on the cover art, and also, you guys, I'm going to HennaCon, yes! Henna convention in LA. It's so not cool this week, but the next week. So I'll have to tell you all about it. Maybe not the next podcast, but the next podcast. Yeah, yeah. It won't be next Monday. When you hear the I'm getting ready for it now, though, as Mm -hmm. we speak. Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we'll probably talk about it next week, too. For sure. Yeah. And then also it's Alex's turn to pick the podcast topic, so... (laughs) You'll hear about it. I don't know why I feel so on the spot. Like, I knew this was coming, and all of a sudden I'm like... (gasps) Can (laughs) you hold the list? Yeah, yeah, we have a list. We have an ongoing list. Oh, if you guys have topic ideas, let us know. Shoot them at us, too. Yeah. Let us know. Um, Hold the list, Krista. What? You're not going to say right, right now. now. It's supposed to be a secret. Oh, I guess. I just got really <laughs> excited and I was like, okay, guys. You're welcome to... to I'll look. pick I'll pick a topic. Mm-hmm. We'll post some secrets or we'll post some hints on Twitter and Instagram. Maybe some Facebook action. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you can guess them. Yeah. Miranda, smarty pants over here, hey. always gets them. Yeah, she does. <laughs> That's why she's the president of the fan club. Oh, boy. <laughs> there is no fan club. Fan club. <laughs> I can't handle that. Yet. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. I think we're good. That's Guys. a wrap. Great. Thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful day. This has been the SenseCast. Bye, everybody. See ya. <laughs>